Back to Living 808. The missing person thriller gets a high tech update in searching, opening this weekend. Here it is. Hey, sweetheart. Where are you? Study group. I'm gonna go all night. Oh, one more thing. I want to know Dad. about the final you took today. Report a missing person. Okay, who is this regarding? Searching stars John Cho as a man whose teenage daughter goes missing. He responds by digging into her life online. Cho and Deborah Messing, as the uh, detective on the case, connected to the script as real life parents. It's the biggest part of my life, and it's the biggest part of how I think of myself now. And it informed sort of um, everything we did on the, uh, the film. This film is about parental love, and it is about, you know, a parent who, who desperately wants to protect their child. When was the last time you saw her? Oh, my daughter. We're not really the story is told entirely on screen, so Messing and Cho had to do most of their acting to GoPro cameras attached to computers. Everything that makes me comfortable about acting on, on film was taken away from me. I just couldn't rely on anything that I'd because, become accustomed to relying on. I didn't have a human being in front of me to act with. People, different angles, um, blocking, uh, movement, all those things were gone. It was the biggest challenge I've had as an actress, by far. Look into her behavior also. She gets a fake ID. I know my daughter's You're teaching. Oh, excuse me, best friend. You broke his jaw. I didn't know her. I didn't know my daughter. Wow. Hmm. Didn't know your daughter, but he searches online. Searching is rated PG-13. I don't know how I would feel about it as a viewer, but it's a fascinating idea. And unfortunately, it's kind of a fact in the world we live in right now. True. It's unfortunate, but... Very true. Here's another fact. You know what goes with movies? Popcorn. Popcorn! Wasabi soy barbecue is an intriguing mix of wasabi, shoyu, and holy barbecue sauce. That's right. Sounds a little off, but you got to try it. The wasabi will... You're already trying it. Wasabi will kick, it, kick you a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Right? You can't be afraid of it. But Howley barbecue sauce, that's interesting. I, I don't know exactly what really that is. Chef Rye, Chef Rye told mm, us to say that. Yummy. I love it. Okay, on to our next movie. Oh. Winona Ryder, right? And Keanu Reeves have an undeniable bond on screen and off, and they're reteaming for a fourth film. <laughs> Yay. We've got the scoop on their romantic comedy. That's a nice dress. Oh, thank you. I like your jacket. Thanks. Most things in Hollywood come and go for Winona Ryder and Keanu Reeves. Their 30-year friendship and on-screen chemistry has stood the test of time, pairing up for their fourth film in the new rom-com, Destination Wedding. We were working before there was, like, Wikipedia or the computer. Like, so yeah. we really knew how we, we're like... We're analog. Yeah. We're old. But we, <laughs> we are that. We're vaudeville. We're anyway. vaudeville, But yet baby. we're still... But we're talking about... <laughs> Their off-screen rapport makes it easy to couple up on screen, playing quarreling wedding guests who end up falling in love during the weekend getaway in California's wine country. Destination Wedding is rated PG-13. That looks fun. I can't I, name all four they've been in together. Neither have I, but I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, looks good. All right, time now for our next treat from Primo Popcorn. Our favorite custards are back, and this week the feature is... Mint chocolate chip. It's cooling mint will handle the hot summer days. I'm going to just go ahead and open this for you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Awesome oh, stuff. gosh. They have these things are really good. Everything they do, the creamery. Uh, uh, yes. Awesome. Okay, you do that. Ooh, it's I'm going to really tell everybody nice. about it's our What's Poppin' bit different. contest. Good different. It's the What's Poppin' Flavor of the Week contest. Every Thursday, a lucky viewer can win four movie tickets valid to any consolidated theater location and family fun gift card from Primo Popcorn. Here's how it works. Watch What's Poppin'. It's usually every Thursday afternoon. Mm -hmm. we've, had, we've had a couple of uh, different days this week, but that's okay. We're going to list the Primo Popcorn Flavor of the Day. Then after the show, log on to KH12.com and enter the Flavor of the Week on the contest page to be part of our random drawing. Today's What's Poppin' second Flavor of the Week is... Wasabi, wasabi barbecue. barbecue. That's right. Mm, wasabi barbecue. So 
How lucky am I that I got to be here on a Friday and yet have primo popcorn? That's an awesome idea. Just stick so around, though. Maybe we'll, we'll have you here for a few of these treats. That's right. <laughs> We love our Thursdays with Primo Popcorn. If you want to check out today's featured flavor or there are many other unique flavors, all you have to do is head down to the Primo Popcorn store in Sand Island Access Road. And if you can't get to this store, if you live on a neighbor island, don't worry. You can always <laughs> click and shop online at PrimoPopcorn.com. And just a reminder, Primo Popcorn will be closed on Monday in observance of Labor Day, so get down there and make sure you pick up all your holiday snack needs. And football snack needs because if you're sitting around on the couch you're watching cover two or you're headed on to the stadium to, to tailgate you're gonna want some of this stuff perfect <laughs> now up next rise of the wahine an inspirational film that won the hawaii film festival's award for best